One of the visual tools that an artist uses to compose a work of art is form, a term that denotes something that has length, width, height, and volume. A form is a shape that has three dimensions. In modern art, the surrounding space can be just as important in the form of a sculpture as the solid structure itself. If you were to view the works of contemporary Mexican artist Yvonne Domenge, you'd see what I mean. She looks to nature for inspiration then designs a form that describes the movement of a wave or air current, a petal or a tree limb. Her sculptures are often spherical and viewers can see to the inside or look through it to the landscape or sky around. So there's an outside to the sculpture, an inside to the sphere, and a visual pathway that leads right through it. Now, Domenge is skilled in a wide variety of materials, but a beginning sculptor might find a paper modeling material, an easier means of discovering form and space. Architects are familiar with something called a modeling pulp board. It's an inexpensive material that's used for making three-dimensional renderings. It's very rigid, like a sheet of map board or poster board, and it cuts easily with scissors. Now, I'm gonna take some inspiration from Yvonne Domenge and cut some organic forms. All right, so I have about five or six forms cut, and now I'm going to form them on a spherical structure. Wet the pieces, either with a little bit of spray bottle and a sponge, or if you had a container, you could put them in some water that way, and wetting both sides. You don't want to leave the pieces in a container because eventually they will deteriorate and break down. You just want them wet, not soaked. All right, I'm going to bend these pieces around this play ball and hold them in place just temporarily with some clothespins. You could use clips, rubber bands, maybe even some strong tape. Now the idea at this point is not to form the sculpture. It's to achieve the spherical shape in the pieces so they can be placed randomly without too much thought given to it. Okay, I've placed all of my pieces and I've set it aside to dry for a few hours or overnight. Now one of the things you might notice as you're placing these pieces is that you'll get some cracks perhaps, maybe some stress fractures here and there. Sometimes the ends tend to fray. There's no need to worry about those. Those can be easily fixed later. All right, so I'm going to remove this now from the play ball, simply by taking off all the clips. If this was on a balloon, I could pop the balloon. And you can see how the pulp board pieces have now retained that spherical shape. Once you take it off the ball, sometimes the inside will still feel moist. It might need a little bit more dry time before you start working with it. Once they're completely dry, now I can go back and start reforming the sculpture. This time I'm going to think about how I want these pieces to go together and visualize how I want my sculpture to look. So I can hold them temporarily in place with clothespins again until I'm sure I have them placed where I want them to be. And once I'm sure, I can come back and glue them. To remember which ones are glued and which ones are simply placed, and apply the glue. And I'm using a quick dry tacky glue. Simple white glue would work just fine. And once I have the glue underneath there, I'm gonna just put a little simple X on the clothespin and this lets me know there's glue underneath that. So here is a piece that is completely dry. Now remember how I said that the frayed ends and the little stress fractures can be easily fixed? Take a piece of sandpaper and just kind of rough off a little bit of that surface. Not too much, but do you see how it's smoothing it out just by doing that along the edges as well. Now, I don't have any of the frayed pieces, but let me just find an end. And if it was frayed, see it is a little bit there too. I would just take a little bit more glue, work it on the edge, and just use my finger to kind of smooth that out again and seal it together. And since this one was formed on a balloon, we can simply pop it. We'll remove these, and you can see that it's holding the spherical form. Once I tidy up some of these pieces, it's ready to be painted. You can use acrylic paint. I would use it straight from the tuber bottle. Adding water could cause the pulp board to soften a little bit and it could start to lose its shape again. So if you're ready to try something new in sculpture, I 
recommend trying modeling pulp board. It's available along with a PDF of this lesson plan at dickblick.com. You can find inspiration for spherical sculpture at demenge.com. Thanks for watching.